Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy and check this out. Dobson came out with two new power stations and they're totally redesigned. And you know, they use semi-solid LFP battery technology. And so that makes them safer. That actually makes them smaller than their competition, even lighter. And they have more cycles, which is really cool. So why don't we go ahead and check this out? Let's get this party started. All right. Well, this is what we're covering in this video. Now, keep in mind, this is an introduction video. There won't be any testing. We're going to take a close look. We'll go over detailed specs on both of these models. And at the end, we'll provide storage and maintenance information. Let's check this out. So before we take a close look, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time introducing you to Dobson and what makes their power stations unique. So they use a semi-solid LFP battery technology. It's similar to what's used in EVs. And, you know, obviously they, the, the, the big thing for them is they say that they're safer than their competitors, as you could see from the information on the screen. They also claim that their power stations are 36% smaller. They can fit, obviously, their batteries and all their technology into a smaller footprint. Now, they also claim that they're 15% lighter. I mean, and that makes a difference. I've been carrying these two around for a little while. And the other thing they talk about is longer lasting. So if you look at the image on the screen, you know, they're touting, you know, a 10 year lifespan with over 4,000 life cycles. And then after the 4,000, you still have 80%. So I just wanted to spend a minute and really go over that with you. Let's go ahead and take a look at these two. So this is the 600L. It's a small guy, to be honest with you. This thing weighs, I think it's about 17.6 pounds. Now, what's nice about this model is MSRP is about $359. And I'll put links in the video description. I have seen this on sale. It is a 600 watt power station. It surges at 1200 watts. And they have a EPS, not a UPS, but an EPS. Uh, which is 15 milliseconds. So not bad. 15 milliseconds is really, really good. You know, I think you start talking UPS when you're around 5 or 10 milliseconds. But that's not bad. Okay, that means that you can use this as an EPS. Battery in this thing is 768 watt hours. Again, this is semi-solid, um, you know, LFP, which is important. 4,000 cycles, and then you go to 80%. Uh, you know, which is nice. They also state that the battery, if maintained properly, can give you a 10 year plus lifespan. Now, this is not expandable. All right. So that's what's keeping the cost down. It's got Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and it has Bluetooth as well. You can control this using the Dobson app. And uh, this has a five year warranty, which isn't bad. Let's continue on with our close look. I'll turn the screen on in a little while. Let's start off with the AC outlets. You get two 600 watts with a 1200 watt surge. Here's your power button for the AC outlets. Here's the power button for the unit itself. And here's the power button for your DC. You do get two USB type C's. One of them is a 30 watt. The other one is a 100 watt. Two USB type A's. These are 15 watts. You do get a DC 5521 if you use that. And you do get a car charge outlet, which is really nice. And this is about 126 watts. Again, LED light, power button on its own. And let's zoom out and take a closer look. So looking at it from the top, you do get a flat surface. If you want to lay something down on top, that is the Dobson logo, just so you'll know it is not a wireless charger. I thought it was. <laughs> you do get a nice carry handle, by the way. Plenty of room back here. Again, more ventilation. You've got these exposed nuts as a part of the design. On the right side, you've got the branding and the model number. Now, when we go to the back, you'll see here that you can plug in 
your you know AC plug with no external brick, so that's nice. And you do get an XT60 for solar and for car charging. It is not an XT60i. And by the way, solar on this is 200 watts, 12 to 30 volt, uh, 13 amp, by the way. So that's nice. And you can combine solar and AC for faster charging with this unit. So not bad at all. Turned off the lights so you could see the screen. Let me turn this on. I just have a lot of light going on in the room. So the unit is turning on now. And then we'll go over the display real quick. So you could see here in the middle, you've got your percentage. You've got your battery bar. All right. Your um, input, your output. If it's connected to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, that'll show down here. And then obviously, you know, uh, charge and discharge time is going to be here, depending on if you're charging it or you're discharging it using it with something plugged in. So it's a nice display. All right, here's the bigger boy, right? And this is not the largest power station they make, but this is double the power of the 600L. This is the 1000L. Now, it, again, interesting, MSRP on this is $799. I just saw this for $499 recently on sale, so I hope the pricing is still good. I will put links in the video description. The power on this is 1,200 watts with a 2,400-watt surge. EPS on this is 15 milliseconds. They do make faster models if you want a faster um, EPS. Actually, it would be a UPS. Battery capacity on this is 1,008 watt hours. Again, they're semi-solid uh, state LFP. The cycles on the battery, 4,000 cycles. Then you go to 80% plus. Again, they do claim this can last 10 plus years, um, but you do have to basically maintain the battery. You can't let this sit around. It is not expandable. Again, Wi-Fi on this is 2.4 gigahertz with Bluetooth. You can control it with the Dobson app. This now weighs 24 pounds, still not bad. 24 pounds, warranty on this is five years. Let's now go over the front. The screen will turn on in a moment. Your ventilation is in the front and the back. You've got two AC outlets. These are 1200 watts with a 2400 watt surge. You do get two USB type C's. One is a 30 watt, the other one is a 100 watt. Two USB Type A's. These are 15 watts each. You do get a DC 5521 if you use that and you need that. And again, the car charger is covered. It's nice. I like the cover, actually. This is 126 watts. Now, your power button for your main unit is here. DC is here and AC is here. As you go to the side, you'll see that, you know, they continued that same design as far as the exposed screws. Over here, the same thing with the Dobson and the model number. Going to the back, again, very similar, right? Your ventilation's back here. Your plug gets plugged in here. You've got, you know, obviously a XT60, not an XT60i port, so keep that in mind. Now, this can handle 600 watts, though, so it's 12 to 60 volt, 21 amp. And again, you can combine solar and AC charging to actually charge this even quicker. Turning on the screen, you could take a look at that. This is pretty much, I believe, the same screen that's on the 600L when I look at the size. So it's providing the same information, right? So you've got obviously your battery percentage, your bar, your input, your output, Obviously, if you've got Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on, it'll tell you there. And then obviously your charge and your discharge time right here. So here is a screenshot of the storage and maintenance information. This is found on page 22 in the manual for both power stations. You know, make sure you look at this. If you want your power station to last, you follow their storage and maintenance guidelines and you should be fine. And don't forget, you get a five-year warranty. All right, so guys, look, I got to tell you, I love that everything is in the front, right? All your outlets are in the front, your AC charging and your solar's in the back. I like this new handle. I like that they're smaller, and yet they still have the capacity of larger power stations. They're also lighter. Now, I'm going to put links in the video description for both of these. 
I think currently they're on sale. And if you use our links, you actually help our channel at no additional cost to you. You know, so I hope the introduction was helpful to you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching our video. I sure hope you found it helpful. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and put our social media up on top if you want to follow us. And you'll be able to subscribe to our channel by clicking this round Tech Made Easy logo. Guys, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.